Let's look at a few actors and actresses. I'm trying to get the point across that what I'm showing here is real. I don't know how exactly it all works. No one does. Maybe the people that are in on it, but I don't even think they know how all of it works. The meaning of life is to put your faith in Jesus Christ, his finished work on the cross, his death, burial, and resurrection, according to the scriptures, is the only way to be saved and go to heaven. The only way for forgiveness of sins, Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. We need him. You listening? If you don't think you need Jesus, I'm trying to tell you very passionately, you're wrong. The world has fallen in satanic. It's best to learn this now so you can understand that the world is biblical. Ken Dukin is an actor. He's doing the eye of Horus here. What is he doing? One eye symbolism. He darkens one of his eyes utterly, having one eye revealed. It's like their calling card. This is the eye of Horus. It's an Egyptian false sun god. If you've read the Bible, you know that Egypt and God didn't exactly get along in the Old Testament. And maybe there's parts that they still don't get along. A lot of the world hates God. Egypt is full of, like, witchcraft and the mystery schools, right? A lot of this has to do with the third eye. That's what this is representing as well. It's the eye of Horus, who is a false god. But it's also the third eye, and I'll get into that. This is also the eye of Horus. And Kundalini Yoga releases the serpent from your spine. If you haven't researched this, it might sound weird to you. But this stuff is real, I'm not saying it's a good thing because it is most certainly not a good thing. It is occult and satanic. This is the Eye of Horus again, very Egyptian-like. This is also the Eye of Horus, an American dollar bill. They might say it's the Eye of Providence. It's the Eye of Horus. It's the Eye of Satan. Notice how it's illuminated, right? The one eye, illumination, right? Enlightenment. It's the false light of Lucifer, the, right? The pyramid here and everything, the third eye is the pineal gland. Here's the pineal gland, and it's supposed to represent here by the eye of Horus with more Egyptian hieroglyphics there. It's up to you to research these things so you know it for yourself. I'm just trying to point you in the direction of Jesus. Ken Dukin is throwing up the devil horns, probably because he's rock and roll, dude. Homosexuality and transgenderism is sin and abomination to God. I'm not being rude about this. It's what God calls it, and that is correct. Oh, he's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands there. That so-called funny gesture I say every day. It's supposed to be about enlightenment. Third eye, enlightenment. It's the false light of Lucifer. They are deceived. What does the Uttara Bodhi Mudra mean? And this is from a site called Yogapedia. So it's pretty in-depth into yoga. Very quickly, the Uttara Bodhi Mudra is a yoga can gesture of enlightenment. I'm never making this up. That's what it is. But it's false light. It's the false enlightenment of Lucifer, who is Satan. Ludovica Martino, she is an actress. She has a pretty good-looking pair there. It's covering her eye, doing one-eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. And she's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with her hands there. Index fingers pressed together, other fingers interlocked. That's what she's doing. This is something to research. It's not nothing. All you mockers and scoffers out there, you will find out when you die. You will find out on the day of judgment. You will find out whenever we get out of here and whenever the world starts going into tribulation time, people will know that, wait a minute, those crazy Christians were actually telling us the truth. They sacrifice their lives in a way, and I'm never saying I'm like one of the apostles. That is not even close to what I'm saying. I, I've given up like, you know, old friendships and things of this world, like a lot of multimedia, like movies and things. Like I, it's not like I never watch TV, and I, I've mentioned before, I watch hockey and game shows with my grandma. But in a way, I've, I've like, I haven't cared what people will think about me and my mental health. They've said a lot of things and people think I'm a crazy person. But that's a bit of a sacrifice that I'm willing to take because I'm telling the truth. I'm showing the truth on screen. I'm trying to explain what it is to the best of my ability. I am one person. I don't have this all figured out. But I figured out a lot of these things with my brothers and sisters in Christ. The Holy Spirit of discernment is helping us to tell people the truth. We're told to reprove the darkness, shine light on the darkness, expose it. And that's what I want to do until I go home. 
I know a lot of people don't get this, but they don't research. They don't read the Bible. They don't do anything but judge. Well, you're judging these people all the time. Oh, am I? I'm judging these people unfairly? Or am I pointing out something that the world should really notice by now? Because it's everywhere you look. It, it's kind of mind-numbing that people don't pick up on this. And they go, well, I just want to live my best life now. Who cares about eternity in heaven or hell? If I go to hell, whatever, it'll be a party with my friends. That is asinine. I'm trying to get people saved. I can't save you, but I can push you in the direction of the Savior and point out the, you know, all those movies and television shows you love so much? These are the people that make them make a better decision about things. Robert Townsend is an actor. He's on a magazine doing one eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. He's winking. That's more one eye symbolism. He's doing prayer hands, the Anjali Mudra, and he's looking up to the heavens, and he's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands. This is probably just a coincidence from a crazy conspiracy theorist. Jean de Jardin, he is an actor. He's doing one-eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. Have I said this before? Is he going to take a bite out of that apple? You know, like in the beginning, in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve, Satan the serpent beguiled Eve, who convinced Adam to go along and disobey God. Disobeying God and dying spiritually is what they did. You shall not die. You shall have eyes to see, says Satan, the serpent, the lying, the father of lies is what God calls Satan, the father of lies. Jean de Jardin is kissing his golden idol. Yes, yes, selling your soul, selling out to the world, selling out your fellow human beings to get a golden thing you put on your fireplace and act like you earned it somehow by being a professional liar is what an actor is. And these people just get pushed and promoted because they're Freemasons. It's not because they're naturally God-given talented. Far from that. This is what, this is what like, a lot of people don't understand. They think I'm rude or mean. You're not understanding that these people have sold out. And they don't care about you. They want money and fame and fortune and success and whatever. And it comes at the cost of your soul. Isn't that insane? And I know a lot of people don't believe that, but it's about time you start believing that. Read the Bible. Understand that the world is biblical. Know that, like, know that Jesus died for you on the cross, and it's the most important thing. It's more important than you can even understand. And what else does Jean de Jardin do? He does the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, the slam dunk version. Index fingers pressed to his lips, other fingers interlocked. How many times have I said this? I've said it a million times. I've said this for years. Some people might not like my channel anymore because I stick to my lane here, but I try and switch it up talking about the agendas in the world. I want to show these people because not enough people understand this. Repetition is what will hopefully get through to some people so that they go, I should probably investigate this for myself. There's something to this. It's weird and strange and I don't fully understand it, but you should still research it. The truth sets you free. Jesus is for salvation. These people are not for Jesus. They're the opposite of that. Once more, they get a golden idol or an award or fame, fortune, success. At what cost? The Bible warns us against forfeiting our soul for any kind of fame, fortune, whatever the world has to offer you. There's nothing the world can offer me that is more valuable than a relationship with Jesus, than having salvation, forgiveness of sin, to go to heaven for eternity, to take part in the wonderful promises of God. If these people don't smarten up and they don't know when they're going to die, they're going to be in for a lot of hurt, a lifetime, an eternity of regret, weeping and gnashing of teeth in hell. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.